Hi everyone! For the month of May, I'm the memory keeping guest designer for Coco Daisy. So I thought because it's been a while since I've done an unboxing and a planner setup video that I do an un unboxing of my planner subscription kits as well. Um, and that way you can have a look and compare them with the memory keeping kits if you'd like. Um, I will have a separate video posted unboxing my memory keeping kits as well as a process video with the kits that I got from Coco Daisy. So today I'm going to be unboxing the main planner kit, including the mini Daisy Dory that I get, the planner add-on kit, as well as the classified planner kit. And this month is special for me for Coco Daisy because not only am I the memory keeping guest designer this month, um, but also it's been um, almost, I think exactly four years since I first subscribed to Coco Daisy. And the theme for this month, which is tranquility, just so happens to be a revamp of the theme that they had in May 2017, which is the first month that I had subscribed to Coco Daisy. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to show you a flip through of my original mini Daisy Dory back from 2017 in May and compare that to the setup of my Daisy Dory for May 2021, four years later. So the first kit that I'm unboxing here is the main planner kit. And there are some items that are consistent from kit to kit, so I'll point those out. Um, that pen is one of them, so um, there's always a pen in the main planner kit. This pouch is, um, sometimes they have like a fabric pouch in the main planner kit and sometimes they don't. And sometimes the pouch is in the planner add-on kit. And I think like once or twice it was in the classified planner kit. And I think there's even been a couple of times when they haven't had a pouch as well, just because uh, Christine from Coco Daisy wanted to switch things out a bit. So these pens, um, if you don't know, they are refillable. So they sell some gel ink refills on their website as well as some uh, I, just, I think they just started selling some ballpoint ink refills as well and there is a video on the Coco Daisy YouTube page on how to change out the refills if you're interested in that. Next we have this cute leafy washi tape and I believe the main planner kit always comes with a washi tape. Um, that's something that's consistent with this kit. Next, we have this cute embroidered uh, Simon clip. Uh, so Simon is one of the characters uh, that is kind of like a mascot for Coco Daisy. So he commonly shows up in especially the classified platter kits. Next up, we always have a sort of sticky notepad for the main planner kits. This one uh, specifically says field notes um, and it has some lines to do some note taking. I always like the sticky notes from Coco Daisy. They're always like the right um, sort of tackiness that they don't fall off their page as easily, but uh, they won't like peel off the bottom piece of paper that it's stuck to either. Here we have the mini Daisy Dory that comes as part of my main planner kit. Uh, there are other versions of the Daisy Dory as well, uh, like different sizes. Uh, so if you're interested in other sizes of traveler's notebooks for your planner, um, you can definitely check out. I think they recently did a YouTube video showing the different size options. And I like that each page is already decorated. So my planner never seems plain, even though I put minimum work into it. Next up, we have this clear plastic bookmark. I usually use these either for wrapping some washi tape samples if I don't want to take my whole washi ring with me um, when I'm traveling, or alternately, you could put some extra sticky notes on there as well if you don't want to carry the um, entire pad of sticky notes with you. And in the main planner kit, we always have two refills for our pen as well as a notepad. These next three sticker sheets are also consistent from month to month um, in the main planner kit. So we have one with the small labels that can fit on your planner tabs. We have the next one that has the days of the month as well as um, the corresponding flags with the days of the week. And the next sticker sheet comes with some icons for chores and some labels. Here we have my favorite part of the planner kits, which is the pattern papers. I love using these for both my planner as well as for memory keeping, as you'll see um, if you watch my memory keeping process video. These are about eight and a half inches by 13 inches and they are folded over. And the idea is you can wrap them around your Daisy Dory insert if you like. Although I usually just cut mine up and use them in various projects. Next, we have some adhesive backed planner die cuts, and I do like to divide these um, into two separate containers, one for 
the die cuts with words on them and sayings and one for decorative elements and labels without any words on them. So you'll see me sort them into these two separate containers. Uh, these are meant to hold four by six photos and they can be found at Michael's. I especially love these double-sided planner tabs. Um, I do use them for my planner as well as for my memory keeping. And that's it for the main planner kit. Up next is the planner add-on kit. First off, we have this dangly planner charm here. Um, I think most people add them to like the spines of their notebooks and things like that. I'm not a big fan of like shiny things dangling off my planner, so um, I won't be using this for planner related things, but potentially for memory keeping. I'll see what I feel like this month. Up next is another package of planner die cut pieces. Um, this pack is different than the one that came in the main planner kit, uh, but there's always one that comes with like a weekend banner um, and one that you can fold um, over as a flag kind of um, around your paper clips to form paper clip toppers. And sometimes we get two sets. Um, I think we only got one set this month because we uh, got the set of rub-ons instead. Here we have the washi tape for the planner add-on kit, um, and this month we have some gorgeous gold foiling in the washi tape. So it's kind of hard to see because of the bad lighting in my video, but there is gold foil on this washi tape, and I do appreciate that Coco Daisy has recently started including foiling in some of their washi tapes. This month we have a super-sized notepad in the planner add-on kit which is um, this is the first time I've seen one like that in their planner kits and this one measures four inches by six and a half inches which um, is of particular interest to me because if you take the top off um, just by about half an inch uh, it's a four by six pretty much so you can use it in like pocket page scrapbooking um, for example if you have like a week in the life type pages you can do some quick journaling on that or in your planners you can use this for like chores or meal planning as well here we have the usual two three by four and one four by six pocket cards that come in the planner add-on kit I especially like the one that has the nine color swatches um, in it just because it helps with matching ink colors or like planner colors um, if you are one who changes out their planner covers every month and I also use this as one of the pocket cards um, for my memory keeping as well the planner add-on kit also comes with a couple of sticker sheets, um, one with some decorative elements, um, one with the days of the week and checkmark list banners, and one with some alpha stickers as well as some small icons and some days of the month. You'll also notice that uh, to the side I've been saving the backing pieces that come in some of the packaging for the Coco Daisy products, and that's just because every month that backing sheet changes to coordinate with that month's uh, color palette. So I do like to save those to use for extra background papers or bookmarks, etc. Here we have two different sizes of calendar bookmarks, as well as a set of decorative rub-ons, and that's it for the planner add-on kit. Up next, we have the classified planner kit. Um, and the reason why this is in a brown paper bag is because the contents are somewhat secretive and some people like to be surprised by what's in this bag. Um, so if you are not interested in having spoilers, then you can go ahead and skip to the next part of this process video. But if you don't mind spoilers, then you can keep watching. Sometimes I like to save the brown paper bag for um, other projects, but this one I completely ripped, so um, there's no saving that one. First off, we have this gigantic binder ring, and the function of this is to serve as um, a washi ring, actually. So you'll see me pull out all of my washi tapes that I've gotten so far from this kit, um, and I will be filling this up with the memory keeping washi tapes as well um, when I next unbox those. Here we have some paper clips with some ribbon toppers. Um, these are always really cute to have. Um, I have used these in the past with memory keeping as well. Up next is this little, um, it looks like a flare button, but it's uh, for a magnetic clip topper that Coco Daisy sells um, separately in their shop. And we have this really cute black polka dot washi tape, which I always appreciate, especially with all of these green colors. It's nice to have a neutral that's really bold to help kind of break things up a bit. 
here we have the pocket card with Simon on it that usually comes in the classified planner kit. And then we have some sticker sheets, one with the days of the week and some extra word labels, um, one that's decorative and one that's kind of got some headings as well as some more decorative elements. And usually we do get two pieces of specialty paper in the classified planner kit, one being a vellum piece and one being an acetate piece. This month we did get this lovely vellum with some green leaves and some green foil on it as well. But we didn't get an acetate piece just because we got these two adhesive pockets instead, which works out really well for me because usually I use the acetate pieces to make some pockets for my memory keeping projects. But here I already have some pockets made up for me, so um, I'll for sure be using these in my memory keeping books this month. I just like how they're see-through so you can stick some ephemera bits or some tags in there and you can see um, kind of what's behind. This next part isn't officially part of the unboxing, but I just wanted to um, show you guys in case you're not aware that Coco Daisy does have some free printables on their website. Um, so that first set of some pocket cards, as well as these free graphics and icons came from um, one of the printables in their shop. These next two pages are actually um, wallpapers that you can use for your phone. And these can be found on the um, Coco Daisy Facebook fan page. And this next set of die cuts um, is a free subscriber printable that can be found on the Coco Daisy website if you are a subscriber. Um, and I just cut these out using my brother's scan and cut machine. They do have a template for the cut file. There is also a free printable that comes in um, the Coco Daisy email newsletter um, that comes out every month. But at the time I was filming this video, I still hadn't printed that out yet. Um, but if you are interested, you could subscribe to Coco Daisy's newsletter um, on their website and they'll be sending one out every month. So before I do my um, process video for setting up my planner for May 2021, I thought I would flip through the original Daisy Dory that I had from May 2017. So um, you can see here that I have a lot of journaling. Um, I mostly use this as a journal instead of a planner back then. Um, so I would date each separate day and kind of write down my thoughts um, about what happened during the day and stick in some photos randomly here and there as well. I also didn't subscribe to any other kits from Coco Daisy uh, during that time. I only subscribed to their washi tape. So most of the embellishments and stickers here are from some sticker books that I found in Michael's. Though Coco Daisy did have some free printables even back in the day, so I did use those to decorate my journal a bit as well. So for my Daisy Dory planner, I do like to remove the craft cardstock um, cover sheet just because I do like having patterned paper as my cover. So here I'm just using the craft cover that I had removed just to size down the patterned paper so that I can make sure it fits around my Daisy Dory snugly. And from there, I'm going to be decorating the front of my planner. Um, usually I do like to use this Coco Daisy stamp to stamp out my month as well as the year. Um, there is no year that goes with this stamp set. So I usually just take the 20 and the 21 and I just stamp those on. From there, I'm just going to be decorating the front of my planner. Here I'm using some of that black washi tape to break up some of that green. Um, and I do like the gold foiling on that washi tape, so I decided to include some of that as well. I do usually like to use the stickers that come on the sticker sheets instead of the adhesive back die cut stickers, um, just because I find that the adhesive back die cut stickers, number one, they have more of like a white bleed around them. So that white halo that comes around all of the images is a bit thicker on the die cut pieces. And also I find the sticker sheets a bit thinner. Um, so they tend to not peel off as easily um, when I'm using them on the front of my planners. I had a strip of that pattern paper left over when I made the cover for my Daisy Dory insert. Um, so I just tore off one of the edges just to make it look a bit more organic. And that just provides a bit more contrast to the inside of this Daisy Dory booklet. And I usually do adhere the title card for each month to the front of the Daisy Dories, um, just so that I know what kit they came from. And sometimes I like to add some washi tape um, onto that first page, but not this month. 
the first page of my Daisy Dory is usually for my trackers. Um, so I'm using one of the stamps that came in one of the planner kits from I think May of last year. And I'm using one of my Altenew inks to stamp out two trackers, um, one for my no spend and one for uh, working out. And I decided I might as well pull out my May 2017 washi tape um, because it's the same theme so it does match with um, this month's theme very well and I've labeled the top of my page with one of the tab label stickers that came in the main planner kit and just pulling in some of the stickers from the main planner kit as well as the planner add-on kit to help decorate my page and fill out the titles for those trackers. My next page is my finance page. So um, here I have the categories housing, utilities, transport, health, groceries, eating out, entertainment, clothing slash beauty, crafting, present slash donations, travel, other, savings, and income. And I'll usually fill out this page at the end of each month just so that I can have um, an idea of how much I spent in each category every month. Next, I'm just decorating my monthly calendar booklet. So this is a printable from um, Mindful Hustle Lab, formerly known as Printable Pineapple. I'll put a link down in the description box below. And this is decorated with some stickers from the main planner kit, as well as some washi tape. Next up, I'm working in my Daisy Dory again to work on my weekly pages. Um, so I do like to divide each week um, into eight sections with my ruler. You'll see me use uh, a different pen other than the pen that came in the uh, Coco Daisy kit for now, just because I find that anytime there's some decoration, so like even the strips that go across the page that are in color, uh, it's hard for the Coco Daisy pen to write on those I find um, and it tends to skip whenever I try to write on those so I just use a normal ballpoint pen when I'm organizing my planner and each week is pretty much laid out the same way um, I use the stickers from the main planner kit to add the days of the week Sunday through Saturday for seven of those eight slots and then for the last section there I have my meal plan and I am using my craft tweezers to position these stickers just because I find that the number matches up a bit better with the day of the week if you um, try to position them with the craft tweezers instead of um, using your fingers. I've done the same layout in my mini Daisy Dory now for um, I think at least a year and it seems to work well for me just because I don't have that much to do um, every day of the week. Um, so I just like having little spots um, to write my work schedule and different appointments, etc., that might be going on throughout the day. After I'm done filling out all of my days for the month, um, on the main planner kit sticker sheet there, um, there are some holiday stickers. So I just go through my planner and add those on. Um, this sticker sheet does come with the dates for all of the holidays on the bottom. So um, you can use that to make sure you have all the right dates. Next up, I have some blank pages in my Daisy Dory. So the middle section I usually leave for a month at a glance, and that's just a section that I can put like my currently list. So currently what I'm reading, watching, listening to, etc. And on another page, I have some sections that say craft time and take photos. Um, I think I'll reserve those sections for um, when I'm working on my week in the life project, just to remind me um, what types of things I wanna take pictures of every day. Here I'm working on my budget section, which looks the same every month. So basically I take all of the different categories that I put in the beginning of my Daisy Dory and I use one of these four sections for each of those categories um, with the exception of grocery, uh, which gets a full two page spread to itself as well as eating out, um, which also gets a full two page spread to itself. And for each of these sections, I have a column for my date. Uh, the second column, which is wider, has um, enough space to hold the description of whatever purchase I made. And then the final column usually holds the amount of the purchase. I've been using this format to track my budget for, um, again, about the last year or so. And I found that this works really well in keeping me accountable and on track with how much I'm spending in each category. So after I'm done setting up my finance pages, um, I'm just going through my booklet to see what else needs um, some stickers. So I added some of the adhesive planner die cut pieces, the one that says to do and plans on top of some of these blank pages. 
And I also used some of those icons from the main planner kit sticker sheet to decorate the top of my finance pages as well. Next, I just printed out the Coco Daisy May Journal Challenge prompt sheet. Uh, this comes free from the Coco Daisy website. And I just stuck that to the back cover of my Daisy Dory. And I'm just using my saddle stitch stapler to staple this booklet together again. And after that, my setup is done. For May, I'm going to be using uh, my Falcon Travelers leather notebook cover. And this is in the color uh, 25, which is Kelly Green. I hope you enjoyed my planner setup video. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching.